allow me to give you a little history lesson on the First Amendment of the Constitution and why it never applied to Native American people until 1979. And it's also one of the reasons why I personally will still use the word colonizer today to describe people. And keep in mind that this has nothing to do with anyone else on this app who says that word. The First Amendment of the United States ratified in 1791 states, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. So the First Amendment is more about religion than it is the speech. See, everybody thinks it's freedom of speech, but it's the freedom to talk about your religion and teach it. But in 1883, they do just that. The Religious Crimes Code of 1883 bans native dances and ceremonies. Congress bans all native dancing and ceremonies, including the Sundance ghost dances, potlatch, and the practice of medicine persons. The enforcement of this law eventually leads to the massacre at Wounded Knee because they were just peacefully performing the ghost dance there. Then down here at the bottom you could see many political, cultural, and spiritual leaders are imprisoned because they are practicing these ceremonies. They also used banning our religion as a means to take away all of the children, put them into residential boarding schools run by Christians, where they were forcefully converted using military personality altering techniques, in layman's terms, torture. And though indigenous people have been saying this the entire time, finally the Pope visited Canada and admitted that it was indeed genocide. Here are some numbers from Canada's Truth and Reconciliation Commission, and in America the numbers were about twice that high. And this happened all because of their religion. And I would like to thank Pope Francis for admitting this for us. Take a pause and read a little bit more about the Sundance if you like. The residential boarding school in America didn't come to an end until the 1960s. And passing of the Civil Rights Act did not help Native American people at all, so in 1969 Native Americans formed the American Indian Movement, which led to the American Indian Freedom of Religion Act of 1978. It took until 1978 for us to get freedom of religion. And it was also in 1978 that Native Americans finally got the right to keep their own children, and the American Indian Child Welfare Act is going to be going through to the Supreme Court in a couple months here because they want to take that away. So if you're still spreading genocidal propaganda in 2022 because you don't know the truth, then you're a colonizer. Heal up, my relatives.